Hi everyone, this is Ami Diamond from Sharepoint Wizard. In the previous episode uh, regarding Microsoft Forms, I showed you that it's possible to prepare pre-filled uh, forms, actually that you put the value ready-made when you send it to the user. So the way we do it, we go to the three dots, choose get pre-filled, here we have possibilities to choose the values and I will choose just uh, as you see here and um, and then we can send it out and uh, we can copy it and as you see here I can copy now I will open it somewhere else and paste it I have this um, pre-filled uh, values but what if I want um, each time to send uh, different values. So I can take the URL that was copied, open a notepad, and actually I will paste the URL that we received. Now it looks very gibberish, but actually let's make it very simple. So you see the, actually the equal sign. So we see here actually no, NA North America. So if we want to change this value, actually we could put um, a different value. Yep. Uh, second, let's look for the next uh, value. We see here HR, which is actually the value of the department. Then if we go onwards, we see here SharePoint. In this case, um, the question enabled to have multiple values. So um, we see also SharePoint and also Teams here. Next value we have is a yes. And uh, we see website and the rest is like a phone. So assuming one will be for this HR department and the next one can we can send it maybe to the same uh, region. But instead of HR, we will make it IT. So I'll type this and I copy it. Let's paste it here. Uh, let's make it a new draft. And you see now IT is the value pre filled for everyone. Um, in the previous Example, you see it was HR, this one is IT, so actually we can um, set it to each one we want. Of course, we can change the cluster, anything. Just notice that if we have multiple values, uh, it behaves a bit different. But uh, now that you understand where are the values, um, we have the equal, and each time a new question starts, it starts with this end, and uh, we can uh, make it uh, for different uh, things. Let's just make another example. So instead of the yes here, we will make a no. So let's just copy this, and uh, you can do it automatically, maybe, or through Excel. Uh, so I changed the yes to no. Now let's just copy it and let's paste it. Um, I'm not sure this what what this new draft means. You, you have uh, previously draft. But let's just continue and you see now the value is no instead of yes. And now you understand and now you can make it more dynamic. Uh, just like uh, you have uh, one big company uh, or in one region or in different regions and you want each one to fill out automatically or that it will be filled out the department or other things. So this is an example. See how creative you can be and goodbye. Hi, in order to prevent the message of the draft, what we can do is to go to the collect response and change it from uh, only people uh, in this tenant to anyone. And once we do that, if we choose any of these uh, uh, URLs, then we do not get any of this draft uh, message. 
So uh, this is a tip and uh, goodbye.